Hi everyone, Claudia here from Lighting Clarity. Today I'm going to talk about the topic of the working realm of heaven, a uh, place that I go to uh, when I'm needing assistance. And I'm going to give you these tools. You would have noticed, uh, I think it was yesterday, I put out a short to do with a tool that I use. I'm going to go over that tool um, very quickly for as I work, work through this talk today. So the realm that I go up to is the realm where the higher the, the, spirit, the spirit guides reside. Um, you can also visit the, um, so you visit the uh, temple of spirit guides, the working temple of spirit guides where they work. Uh, it's also got like a, a library in there. I'm going to go into that. I'm also going to talk about the halls of restoration where the ascended masters uh, work as well. And I'm going to give you tools as to how it is that you can work with them at home. Now, as I said yesterday, I gave a specific tool. I'm going to elaborate on that tool now, and then I'm going to work through uh, talking about the working realm of heaven that, that um, I go up to and what is there and what is there. So when I'm discussing what it is that I, uh, the short that I, I did yesterday, uh, is to do with when I go to sleep at night, sometimes I'm wanting a face-to-face -face meeting with my holy team because um, I don't want to tell them, I actually want to see them face to face. Now this is a tool I use only while I need to use it. And um, it's a tool I've used over the years, I've given to clients, and it is quite an effective tool, quite an effective tool. So I would call upon Archangel Michael of the Light while I'm lying in bed. And I'd say, I, need, I want to go up to the, uh, the higher realms, I want to go up to the heavens, and I want to have a meeting with my holy team. I ask for divine protection. I ask for assistance to help me go up to, to that, um, that, that realm in heaven to speak to my holy team. And then I call upon who it is I want to speak to when I get up there. So I might say I want to speak to um, my spirit guides. Um, so my holy team of light, I know my spirit guides by name, so they know who they are. Even so, I will say I want to have a meeting with you both or you four. Um, and I may also say, Archangel Michael, I actually want you present. And I would like Archangel Gabriel present. And I may choose an ascended master. Now, I wouldn't choose them all at the same time. I might just say, I want my spirit guides present um, and I want um, Master Merlin present and, and I might ask for a King of Shemuel or it's just those three or those two or whatever. Depending on why it is I'm going up, depending what the topic is. So as I'm lying in bed, I say, I'm coming up tonight. I'm going to talk to you, Master Merlin. I'd like you to be present. I'd like you to be present at King Michael and I'd like you, my spirit guides, to be present and I name them. Okay. And I say to them, I explain, I'm coming up to discuss these three topics or these five topics, these issues that I'm having trouble with here on earth, that I just cannot move through, that I do not understand, and that I need advice on. And also when I'm there, I'm requesting for a healing, please, because I really haven't been able to cope with the emotional um, up and down issues that I've been feeling to do with some of these topics. And I also, just me, would do this. I, you could do it too. I also ask if I can attend a course in heaven to do with a particular topic that I want or just in general. And that's something I add on. You do not have to do that. And, okay, so I go to sleep at night. And then I wake up in the morning. Do I remember the, t the meeting I had with my holy team? You know, with who it is I call upon? No. Do I remember the advice that they gave me? No. Do I remember the healing that was administered? No. Do I remember the courses that I attended? No. However, I've woken up feeling a lot better, feeling a lot, a lot more clarity, um, a lot more elevated. And I know I've received the healing because of how I'm feeling in the morning. And I know that what I learned in my classes and the advice that was given to me by my team filters through me in the coming days, in the coming weeks, in the coming months. Now, it's only once that I have woken up hearing my spirit guides give me the end of uh, a message to do with one of the topics I went up for. Um, and that was something as I woke up about a couple of years ago or a year ago, I heard what my spirit guide was saying. I knew which guide it was. I knew, I'm not going to say what she said. It was quite personal. <clears throat> and what she said, I was like, oh, for the rest of the day, going, really? And uh, by the end of the day, she popped in again. She said, Claudia, it wasn't meant as a criticism. It wasn't meant as a criticism. It was meant as a fact. And then I relaxed and went, I understand you now. Um, so it actually is very effective and you will find that if you don't use this all the time but you use it as you need it, yeah, you will find it just gives you that lift. They will assist you. All right, so I wanted to elaborate on the tool that I gave, uh, I think it was yesterday on Facebook and on YouTube. Uh, all right, so 
getting going with the talk today. All right, excuse me for a second while I have a drink. So, this is that on the seventh dimension that I go up to. So, I've got the seventh dimension, and, and as I go out, I see the lavender fields, which is what I see when I go and I take in the divine healing from the lavender fields and I allow myself to be one with the lavender fields. So, I've also brought protection around me, and I've gone up my spirit channel, up my God channel, and I've traveled up. And this is me in conscious meditation when I'm eating a lift uh, pick me up. This is something that I do, and this is something that I have taught to my clients in meditation um, and through other classes that I have run over the, over the many years that I've done what I do for a living. Um, so I'm just giving you the basics. I'm not giving you a meditation. I'm giving you the basics. So I go up and take the healing energy of the lavender fields, which I allow myself to become one with. And then I follow the path and I come up to the angelic rose garden. There's an angelic rose garden um, on one of the dimensions in heaven, it's I think it's like the seventh dimension, I've forgotten now, but <clears throat> that I tend to go up to. I don't worry about which dimension, I don't think I want to go to that dimension. I just, with intention, decide I want to go on to the working dimension and I'm taken there. All right. And I go into the uh, angelic rose garden and it's, the, it's a garden where the archangels sit and reside and walk around and there's a lot of healing in the angelic rose garden. I go up and I smell the beautiful roses um, that are there and I allow myself just to become one with the healing energy. And it's quite a, a strong uh, energy vibration that is there and I allow it just to penetrate through my aura. And then I come out and I keep walking and there's the crystal castle up ahead. Now the crystal castle reminds me of, uh, you remember Superman, 1979, when he throws the, the crystal and it just erects? It looks like that. And it's got different colours to it. And I go into the crystal castle. I call it that. The crystal, uh, we'll call it the crystal castle. And I, I see the different vibrations that comes through my aura. And they're different colours. Now those different colours that come in through me, um, they actually give me what, exactly what I'm needing. Whatever pick me up I'm needing. And I will ask, what, what is this vibration that's coming through me? Seeing the colour come through in the energy. And they'll give me it's the energy of faith. Or it's the energy of um, upliftment. Or it's the energy of wisdom. Or it's the energy of pace. Or it's the energy of abundance. Or it's the energy of um, whatever you want to call it, Whatever it is. And they will give that to me. Now I allow that to come into me. Okay, and then I allow it to go out. To go where it is it needs to go in my life. As I'm standing there. There's a lot of help available to us. Um, you need to ask for help. You need to ask for the assistance. And when you ask, it is more effective in your life. It is more effective in your life. And I've said this in the last talk last week to you all. And I've said this in talks when I've done talks at psychic fairs, I've stood on stage, at libraries, where is I've been and I've done talks. This is something I say, you must ask. All right. So once I have done that, I will come out. And you can also go down to the um, Temple of Spirit Guides. And the way in which I see it is a circular building. And I go in. And I'm greeted by my spirit guides. And I see many guides walking along. They're not my spirit guides. They're everyone else's spirit guides. And I see many spirit guides walking along. Um, and sometimes I see healing beds in the far distance in the other room that you can go and lie down on. And your spirit guides will do some work on you as well. But I go into the uh, temple of spirit guides. And I, I see many spirit guides walking around. My spirit guides come forward. And I take the opportunity when I'm there to ask them to assemble a team to assist me. And that's something you can do too. I ask them to assemble a team to assist me. It could be a team to do with the career team or the romance team. And I will name those teams. So it could be, let's say, for example, we'll just do this for example. Um, I, I want to name three teams. So I say to my spirit guides, I need a team to help with my career. And I need a team to help with my romance. And I need a team to help with my finances. And they say, we want you to name those teams so you're clear about the help you're asking for and what it is that you're wanting. Because they, it is important that we are clear on what we want. Because if we're not clear with spirit, with what we want, then they can't help us. It's like when you come for a reading with me, you want to ask your questions. You need to be clear about the questions you're asking. Because the way in which I ask is the way in which you'll receive the answer. Okay, you need to be clear about what you're asking. So then you receive clear answers back, clear help back, clear direction back. Does that make sense? So you name those teams and they assist you. All right, your spirit guides will go and they will gather um, 
the teams to assist you. So this can consist of other extended masters. I give them full permission to grab them, to ask for extended masters to assist um, or archangels to assist simply because I need a big shift to do with these three topics. Let's say for romance, finances and um, whatever else I said, abundance or whatever else I said and they will assist you. So to do with housing, mental health, lifestyle changes, to do with if you're not sleeping properly, they'll also assist. Um, I'm just making sure I'm giving you everything here. So you'd call on Archangel Michael, Metatron and Raphael to protect you before uh, going up to the heavens. Yeah, that's what you would do. That's what I do anyway. Just rereading also. And I make sure there's always protection light around me. Also to do with a relationship, to do with a loved one. If you're needing help with that, you know, or you're going to court or there's something like that, legal issues, you can ask for them to gather a team to assist you with these legal issues, yeah? So you're building a support team and you're giving them projects to help you with and you can discuss what exactly you're needing help within the career, within the finance, within the court or the loved one, whatever this is that you're going through and they will assist. They will bring, thank you, they will bring resources in to assist you. So your job is then to look for those resources on the outside. Okay, so this is a spirit realm, a spirit <clears throat> temple, spirit guide temple that you can go to in meditation, but you must make sure you are protected. Absolutely to 100%. Um, with any spiritual work you do, with any meditation, whenever I do a reading for a client or a healing, we're protected to 100% myself and the client um, and, you know, no bones about it. And when I sit and I meditate for myself, you know, for myself and channel for myself, absolute protection at all times. Uh, I can't say that enough. Okay, I cannot say that enough. All right, so then you can move on, um, making it very basic, and you can go to the halls of restoration. The halls of restoration are where the ascended masters reside. Um, they meet to bring and offer healing to the different realms and planets of ex existence as well. So they work for the good of the universe. They don't just work. I mean, your spirit guides, yes, they have you on earth, but they also look after, as well as the ascended masters, they also look after other people in other realms. We'll call it that way. All right. I mean, we like to think of things on earth being very much boxed in and very, you know, and, and, and to be honest, the universe is far more complex than that. God is far more complex than that. God is far more open than that, that we can even fathom because we on earth have a different system of thinking, a different way of living. We're very, uh, what's the word? We're very um, organic <laughs> I don't know, compared to everybody else. We're very basic and organic compared to the rest of the universe. And we chose this existence to be here. And as I said last week, Earth is one of the most turbulent dimensions to incarnate on because it offers the furthest growth the fastest. And that's why you choose to come because it offers the furthest growth the fastest. And you knew it was the most turbulent, uh, turbulent, um, realm to incarnate on than any other realm is going to offer you more growth we discussed that last week if you didn't catch it catch the video from last week that one's very interesting as well um so this is a different tool to the one i gave you earlier all right so i'm going to read this out before you go to sleep at night uh you can call upon archangel michael and you can say i actually want to go up to the halls of restoration i want a meeting with the ascended masters all right, so you're going with the ascended masters. Um, you ask our cancer to provide safe passage from which to work and to place that purple cloak of light around you. And you ask that you you ask them to help you safely travel up to the halls of restoration where the masters reside. And you set the intention for why it is you're going up. So with the ascended masters, you set one intention. With the earlier tool I gave you, you can set three to four to five. But with the Ascended Masters, you set one intention that you're going up for, to the Halls of Restoration. It's a very specific place, and these are very real places in the heavens. Um, and you can request assistance on an emotional pattern, which is what I do. A pattern that you need to break, or where you yourself need to feel more self-love for you, um, or feel more self-worth or self-confidence. So you can set the intention, so I'm going up to the Halls of Restoration, tonight to see the Ascended Masters. Archangel Michael, please protect me. Place your purple cloak of light around me. I ask we 100% protected. I ask we taken up there. And the intention I'm going up for is 
there's a pattern I've had in my life and I want to break it. You know, I've had it for so long and I've brought myself as far as I can and I don't know how else to break it. Um, you can also ask, I want to go up because I want to ask for more assistance in self-love, self-confidence and self-esteem. So they consist, as I said, they are higher beings of light here and, they, and they're there to listen to your request for assistance. Okay? Um, and they meet to, you know, to help humanity and the universe. And I said that earlier. So you go to sleep and you trust what you're asking for, they will assist you. Now what they do is they bring the assistance to you and you look for that once again on the outside. Um, so they might bring you a realisation that's going to help you overcome any emotional patterns or issues you are needing to resolve. Uh, they ask you to be open to their assistance in the coming weeks um, and days and months as you've requested. But you go up and you ask for one topic. Now, you can go up to the halls of restoration only once a month and you ask for one topic at a time. If you're still needing help with that one topic you've already asked for, you can re-ask for that topic again. Now, I mean, I did the, I do this. And one of the biggest breakthroughs I had was there was an emotional pattern that I needed to break. And I simply just couldn't do this on my own. And this was the reason I went up and the reason why you got is for an emotional assistance. Okay. So I asked for that emotional assistance to do with this particular pattern I wanted to break because I just couldn't move through it. And um, I went to sleep. I'd gone up to the halls of restoration, woke up. All right, I knew it had been done. I could feel it. Um, about, it didn't take long. Probably took about six weeks later that that emotional pattern that I had, and I'd had it for years and years and years, and I couldn't break it, actually shifted within me and was gone. And it took a span of over six weeks for this to occur. Excuse me. And I was quite stunned and quite pleased and I thank them for their assistance um, so that's just one of the stories that I can give you about my personal self when I've used this tool and the way in which they have assisted me so they do help on an emotional front okay all right so you're here on it yeah there's many parts of you as well that are on other realms, right? So I'm going to make this very short. Next week I'll talk about the higher, the higher self. But you are a fractal of your higher self, all right? So your higher self has set many parts of itself to different realms uh, and here to earth, and you're one of the fractals of your higher self. Your higher self may have sent an extra fractal of itself to earth. So yourself and another person in another continent uh, shares the same higher self as you and other people and other realms share the same higher self as you. You are connected to those other selves of you, if you like. Um, when they go through a growth spurt, you've heard, probably heard me say that before, when they go through a growth spurt, when they grow, you grow. When you grow, they grow. And then your higher self grows. Now, obviously, above the higher self, we have a couple more yous, if you like, and then we have God. Now, I can't go into all that because I don't channel above my higher self. I channel my higher self and then comes my spirit self, my soul and me. And that is who I channel. Above the higher self, there are more you. So from there's more you that are split and then you become the higher self. It's the only way I can word it. There's more to it, but I just don't go into it. Um, it's sort of above my head, to be honest, at this point. One day I probably will, but uh, not at the moment. Um, so where am I going with this? Oh, so I said a bit about that. When you go to sleep at night, when we all go to sleep at night, a lot of us tend to do a lot of work when we're asleep. So sometimes when I'm asleep, a lot of you will come to me and ask me questions about your lives. Clients, those of you who are not clients that watch me on Facebook. And I wake up in the morning and sometimes I'm very tired and it's been often that I've been very tired. I've slept the whole night, gone a bit early, there's nothing wrong. And I know, I think, what is going on? And then I'll be told everyone's lining up to ask questions. And I go, okay. And then I ask for my team to come in and say, all right, let's just keep everyone at bay for a bit because I need to sleep. I'm happy to help, but maybe make an appointment in the daytime when I'm awake because this is a bit much. I'm just giving an example of, of when we go to sleep, we do some work. Now, some of us as well um, 
when we go to sleep, I'll give myself the example. So I know that when I go to sleep at night and also I'm conscious of the fact there's that other part of me that's up in the heavens. There is a part of you up in the heavens that has never incarnated, um, that has never incarnated, that, that is there. So you're here, they're there, and then your other selves are everywhere else, but they're there. And you're connected to that other self that's in the heavens doing other work. All right. When you go to sleep at night, you also... Um, there are people that go and help a disaster zone. So you might watch the news and you'll think, oh, there's been an earthquake in, I don't know, Venezuela or Kuala Lumpur or wherever. And you decide, well, and you look, that's awful. I feel really sorry to see that this massive earthquake has happened. And you'll go to sleep at night. Often your soul, yourself, you'll come out of yourself and you'll go to those disaster zones and you'll often help. Some people help young children who, are, who have passed away that are lost at those disaster zones move through and into the light because they can't see the light. Often there are light workers or there are just people in general or light workers in our own way, really. Let's face that. That's just such a broad topic for a broad word anyway. Um, we often go to other zones here on Earth, disaster zones, and we assist people to pass over. We assist people who have passed and that are confused. And often we do counselling as well. You know, you are far greater than you realise. You are, we, you know, being on Earth, we often sell ourselves short because, you know, we can't physically fly in the air. We can't do this and that. What we see on telly with all the, the um, you know, the superheroes or whatever. But in fact, we are superheroes. You know, you don't, you are not aware of the work that you do in the heavens and the work that you do here on earth when you go to sleep and where it is you go and assist on other realms. I'm, a, I'm a part-time spirit guide. When I go to sleep at night, I go and I'm a part-time spirit guide to other people on other realms and on earth. I assist. Okay. Um, I've been a full-time spirit guide when I haven't incarnated as Claudia in this lifetime. I also assist. Your spirit guides also incarnate as they choose to come in and want to do further growth. They don't just stay in the heavens all the time. They do a lot of study in the heavens or they wouldn't be able to be your spirit guide. Um, but they do choose to incarnate. And so do the ascended masters. They choose to come back again and again to learn and to grow. Um, anyway, so that's just to give you an idea. See if there's anything else. And many of you attend classes also in the higher realms. Many of you work under Merlin. Um, you know, I especially see a lot of clients working under Merlin. I work and I assist Merlin. Um, I teach also classes in the heavens to do with emotion. A lot of people from Earth sit in my classes uh, where I teach about emotions. I have other others with me teaching as well. Um, you know, we all teach about emotions and <laughs> Some of the people in my classes, I recognise them from my own daily life as to who they are, uh, which, which is interesting. I certainly wouldn't take my advice in this life, you know, <laughs> in this lifetime because they're family members, you know, and, and, and some of them are dear, very dear friends as well. But I'm having a joke. Um, so there's far more that you do. Some of us, you know, work in the Akashic, Akashic Records. There's a lot of you that do a lot of things that are watching this video that you would find very difficult to believe that you do some of these things. And you do. You wouldn't be attracted to listening to me each week or once a month or whenever it is you come across my videos, any of videos, if you weren't, if you didn't resonate with what I said, there's something within you that feels there's an element of truth. Um, so don't sell yourself short. You are very much needed. You chose to come here for a specific reason and it wasn't just for yourself. You chose to come because you wanted to be of assistance. You wanted to be assistance to God be of assistance to God, be of assistance to being here on earth, to, to assist humanity, to grow. And the way in which you do that is that you be yourself. You be yourselves. You move through, you be yourselves. That, that is the best way you can be to help earth grow, is to be yourself. Because you've come to put your unique stamp on being here on earth. And every person in your life, you have affected. Every person that you've come across, be it the bank, at the bank, or at the grocery store, the people that you constantly see, or the people that are in your lives, or your friends, or one, you know, you go on a holiday and you're on a tour group and you're with that tour group, you all touch each other's lives. You know, we also, you know, we teach each other indirectly. You coming to earth is very important. Don't ever diminish yourself. Don't ever diminish yourself. Okay. All right. So next week I'm going to talk about the higher self 
Now I'm going to talk about the different types of soul contracts um, that you have with other people and I'll name some of those soul contracts. You might recognize um, some soul contracts as well that with some people that you have in your own life from what I say. So that's what I'm talking about next week. I'm also talking about life purpose next week and in the coming weeks I'm going to talk about other topics I've discussed over the years but I want to bring them back in to do with do we choose our life lessons yeah so that's something I'll talk about in the coming weeks all right everybody many warm blessings and I'll connect with all of you again soon thanks everybody